Okay everyone, so now we are learning the front-end design tool. Front-end design tool in the short named as FEDT. Now first of all, we should understand that whenever we are making any of the application on our system, now that is called the Windows application. There are different type of application which we can develop just like we are having the web application. Web application means whenever we are having a browser, browser let's say Chrome, Safari, and here we are opening some website then that website if we are developing that is called the web application or maybe if we are developing a software which is for the windows just like we say the turbo c or we are developing any of the let's say project which would run on the system that is called the windows application or sometime we are having the normal app app is name as mobile application so whenever a project run on the mobile, just like we are having the WhatsApp, so all these applications which run on the mobile are called the mobile application. So there are different different terms, web application, which work on the website, mobile application, which work on the mobile, Windows application, which work on the Windows. So if we talk about any of the application which we are designing, we know that here user interact. So if we see here, we know that user is here and user is going to interact with the system. Now that system may be Windows application, web application or the mobile application. So these all applications are called the front end. So front end means the user is interacting with some system and here the applications are developed just like you are going let's say on the website of the facebook now who designed the facebook some of the coders now that facebook you are seeing is a front end let's say you are going on any of the mobile application let's say whatsapp so that interface you are going to see that is again the front end or maybe you are developing some windows application any project where user is interacting so everything is the front end now all the languages which we are learning, just like if I say the example of Java, we are having the HTML or we are having the .NET. We know that .NET is a framework. Under the .NET we are having multiple languages, just like we are having the C-Sharp.NET, VB.NET, ASP.NET or the JSharp.NET. So there are multiple languages which are supported with the .NET. So these all things, which we are using like Java, HTML, HTML with the CSS, DHTML, .NET, all languages. These are designing the front end. Means they are designing a GUI or the CUI application so that user can interact. Let's say if we have developed the Facebook. Now afterward, we are not going to design the database because database is called the backend. So we should understand that whenever we are designing application, that application is called the front end where user interact. Now we should know if we are designing application, let's say we are taking the input from the two users. Now where that data will store, if you are going on the Facebook, where the Facebook likes will be stored or maybe your friend requests where they store. So there is some kind of database is present. So this database where all the data is stored, that is called the backend. We have heard various databases name or the backend name, just like we are having the Oracle. Then we are having the SQL Server. Then further, we are having the MS Access. So these are all databases where we store the data. So Oracle and SQL are very much popular. And MS Access, it is basically the Microsoft Access where we can just put the database, we can create the tables. So everything is going to store the data. Now, let's say we are developing some application. Let's say we are developing a form, maybe in the .NET. Now here in this form, we are having, let's say, the user ID. So this is the user ID box. And this is the box for the password. Now from where this user ID and password will come. Let's say this form data, we want that it should be stored somewhere. Now the designing part of this form can be done using any of the language like Java, HTML, .NET, but saving of the data will be done into the database. So 
the application will be connected with the database so that's why they are connected and in the database we are going to store the data there are some languages which are having their inbuilt database also just like we are having the php the python they create their own database also if required so whenever we are going to make any of the project the demand from you that provide us the front end and the back end so you should understand that project you have created that is your front end and where that data will store let's say you are making the project of let's say purchase management means purchasing of all the company so that project is into any of the language like html java and your database means that complete database will be stored in some let's say oracle sql or the ms access so whenever you make any of the project you should be aware about two things of your project one is your front end means which language you are using to design your project and second thing is your database that means your back end so where you are going to store the data so why this front end design tool because we know that the languages which are going to provide the front end let's say if we talk about the dot net here in the dot net we are having let's say c sharp vb dot net asp dot net so that's why the dot net is called the front end design tool so whenever you are going to find out the name of dot net anywhere in your syllabus you will find front end design tool using vb dot net because you should be designing the front end applications you are not going to design the database yeah you can link the database if you want no problem but the form designing web application designing or mobile designing all the things we are going with the help of this dot net or any other language so these language are called the front end design tool that's why this dot net is called the front end design tool